Um, next up we have the house sponsor of this bill, um, who is a great champion uh, and strategist for getting good legislation passed. Um, please, please welcome Rep. Blaszczewski. Uh, thank you so much, Georgia, and thank you for, for sharing your story and your experience. And thank you all for being here today in support of the campaign here in Rhode Island for home care independence and choice. I'd first like to thank my House co-sponsors, Representative Slater, thank you so much for being here today. I see Representative Regenberg as well. Representative Bennett, thank you as well. Also co-sponsors include Representative Fogarty and Representative Maldonado. Thank you, Senator Jabor for being here, Senator Oyer, and of course, uh, thank you to uh, my Senate sponsor, uh, Mayor Aaron Goodwin. We've worked on so many pieces of legislation on, on respite care, on long-term care, so thank you for your support on this. You know, I was, I was talking to Bill from yesterday, and he mentioned it a bit, but I want to reiterate the point. Uh, in three years, in 2021, and, and Bill is a, a member of uh, the Baby Blue generation, uh, that generation turned 75. And in 2035, 25% of all Rhode Islanders, one in every four Rhode Islander will be 65 plus. So this is an issue that is, is really ripe to be dealt with. Now more than ever, we need to have state policy that promotes and supports our seniors to help them stay in their homes from as long, for as long as possible. Seniors that are our, our friends, our neighbors, <coughs> our grandparents, our parents, our loved ones, they're, they're ourselves. And we need a policy that helps them stay in their homes with affordable long-term care for as long as possible uh, so they can stay in their homes and they can do what they want to do and, and age with dignity in the community. So finally, I want to mention, in my experience, getting good pieces of legislation passed always requires broad community support. And I want to thank everyone who's here today in support of the legislation. In particular, I would like to list off the, the uh, community and coalition supporters that we have on this legislation, which includes the Senior Agenda Coalition, Rhode Island Working Families, the Rhode Island Organizing Project, the Rhode Island National Organization of Women, the Rhode Island AFL-CIO, District 1199 SEIU, and the Economic Progress Institute. So thank you all for the support, and like Senator Goodman said, let's fight, let's get this done. Thank you.